Lady Tina here to talk about Gary V and how to speak like him, specifically bringing on his charisma, confidence, and connection on camera. If you don't know who he is already, he is a big entrepreneur and a social media influencer. He has a huge following. Gary V is really the epitome of making an audience trust him through his content through specifically his video content and this is something he's just naturally good at in many ways but also something he cultivated over the years so what can you do yourself either as a content creator yourself or if you're simply going on zoom or you're presenting something and a lot of us are in quarantine, you're in the pandemic, and we're doing video work, whether you're a content creator or not. This is how we communicate now because of everything that's going on in the world. So might as well be really good at it because this is how it's gonna be for a good while. By the way, comment below if you know Gary Vee already before this video ever hit because I'm a huge fan. And if you know Gary Vee and you have watched this video or followed him in any capacity, then you're my kind of person because I just love Gary Vee's principles about being kind to others and being empathetic and a lot of his philosophies he puts out there. So if, again, you know Gary Vee and you're a follower of him in any capacity, comment below, let me know, and I'm gonna give you a heart because you are my kind of person. <laughs> anyway, let's get into what Gary B does to be more confident, charismatic, and connected on camera. Holy shit, we hit big. Fucking big, D-Rock. And D-Rock's audio worked the whole time. Yep, we're There's good. a huge score. I'm super fired up. Here we go. So first, you're going to see that I negotiated heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just broke the whole game. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, you can see that this is a very common camera work, mostly for social media use. But you see he's doing selfie mode. It builds huge trust and you might wonder why is this shaky camera mode building a huge amount of trust? It's because it reminds a lot of us of what we only do with our friends. So something like FaceTiming your friends or your family, this is something that you do. It's not a professional camera with a lot of lights coming in clearly there's no lights around him and he's just in his the neighborhood and even when something as imperfect as his uh, associates falling the games down onto the floor he records it what are you doing oh my gosh so recording that imperfect moment is showing his human side and ultimately the reason why people trust Gary Vee so much is because Often people will say he's very authentic, he's very raw, and he gives you the truest form of himself. Now, whether you like that truest form or not, that's up to you. But at the very least, you can see that this is him. And you either you either accept it or you don't. But it, it's, it's very raw. You don't see a lot of him trying to pump himself up. You see a lot of, well, this is who I am. And sometimes I'm really sweet and kind and empathetic and sometimes I'm just a New Jersey guy <laughs> and I'm just raw and I'm out there and I'm very aggressive. And you see both sides of him and in that selfie mode, you can see that interaction. Okay, things aren't exactly working out. He's talking to the camera directly. Another thing that you can see here and I'll play again is that he looks at into the camera. So you see it from a third person point of view because this is the uh, other camera that's looking into it you also see that they show which i love him talking to the camera and what he posted on social media which shows and the reason why they also did this edit is because they want you to see gary looking into the camera lens so let's just say i was talking right here the whole entire time and i was looking somewhere else or even looking down below you lose that connection you lose it completely and we do this all the time in zoom calls etc because we see people on our screen, and this is the biggest mis mistake I see people do all the time, where sure, you address the PowerPoint, even if you're on stage at a speaking event and you're the speaker on stage, you address the PowerPoint, but you're not looking at the PowerPoint the whole entire talk. 
because that would be boring and you're not connecting with the audience. So just as you would connect with the audience when you're on stage and you're speaking to somebody, or if you're at a nice cafe and you're meeting with somebody, you're not talking to the coffee the whole time. You're talking to the person that you're with. You're looking in their eyes. So the camera lens is the person's eyes. It's the viewer's eyes. And you always have to keep that in mind when you're talking about stuff. Of course, every now and then you're going to look away. You're going to express yourself, but you always come back to the eyes of the camera, which is the lens. And again, so if you're doing any type of content creation or presentation and you're working on camera, do not look at the screen. I see this all the time look at the camera lens. At least every now and then, you always have to come back to the camera lens. It's the reason why Gary V builds that trust because when somebody views him on social media and he's doing this selfie mode that feels like almost a FaceTime, a FaceTime with a friend, a FaceTime with a family member, that he's just being authentic and raw and he's talking to you in person. And hey, look, here's what's happening. And he uses languages like you. Hey, check out what happened. You wouldn't believe what just happened right now. So it feels very personal. It feels very uh, like I, I'm just your friend. I'm just here with you. And it's the reason why he builds trust very, very fast with his content itself. So if you were to recreate this in some type of way, I, I highly recommend selfie mode. Even if it's a little, little shaky, you almost want it to be imperfect in many ways. You don't want to set it up with lights in front of you and make yourself look perfect. That imperfection of it is what builds trust because it's very real and it makes the viewer say, oh, Gary's just like me. Gary's out there in the neighborhood just like me. Even though he's a multimillionaire entrepreneur, in this aspect, he's very humanized. And that is something that you can relate to. That's something you can build rapport with. People don't build rapport with something that is so offhand that they can't possibly imagine. They might have respect for what you do and how you are, but you're not building rapport. So when we're talking about building rapport, building trust with video and trust with what you're saying, even the context of what you're saying, if you're doing a presentation, then you have to really look into the camera lens and you have to make it a you or we language. And he uses you and we language all the time throughout all of his content and looking directly into the camera. And even if it's imperfect, that's actually what he does really well is that imperfect way of content creation. So let's look at a little bit more of this and see if you catch these little nuances. That jet's jacket. If that wasn't hanging out there, I would have stopped. I would have never gotten the Zelda. That's why you always have to demand, guys, never listen to your intuition. Always see it through. Here's another technique that Gary does very well. So I like to call it a walk and talk, but you don't necessarily have to walk. It's doing something else and looking back into the camera. He's very well known for this. So right now he's driving. So what he's doing is he's driving and every once in a while, just like I said before, the camera, it's the eyes of the person who is viewing your content or your video. So as he's driving, he's looking back as if he's talking to you like a friend. And you can see that, hey, look, this is what you're supposed to do, but whatever it may be, but you're concentrating on something else. If you are new to camera work, so I, I had this course in which we did confidence and charisma and connection on camera. And in that group, I realized people really thrived if they were nervous on camera with the walk and talk. And it's because you're able to concentrate on something else. So if you're a little bit nervous or you're not so comfortable on camera, you're able to concentrate on something else. And then every now and then you get to look back at the camera for that connection. Just make sure you look back at the camera every five to eight seconds, I would say. And it's not something that you time. It's just by about five to eight seconds, five to nine seconds, always look back into the camera. It's just like always looking back to the audience. If you're looking at the PowerPoint, you don't want to stare at the PowerPoint, but it is something that is there. You want to address it, but you always have to look back and connect back to the person you're talking to or the audience or the camera you're talking to. So again, look away for five to eight seconds and then always come back to the lens. Just like if you were to drive and talk to a friend or walk and talk to a friend, it's something you can easily do that you're doing some sort of other action and you're talking through it at the same time. I wanted to do a quick one on 
just Gary Vee's body language and how he is on camera. And I like this one because you can see his whole body. Certainly there are other videos that you can see that's like this, but just check it out. And I'm going to point out a few things, but see what you can notice. This jacket, it's priceless. Picked up this uh, Playboy Pooh for set for a buck, and uh, it's 11. Got In general, body language, when you are expanding your body, whether your arms, your legs, your whole chest, <laughs> everything, even if you're elongating your neck, you're pulling it back, you're straightening your back, all of that is showing how confident you are. Gary, naturally, he has a wide stance. I did a whole video on nine power poses and I'm gonna link that below. It was with Jessica Pearson, the character from Suits. So if you wanna check out the nine power poses, the video that I did, go ahead, click on the link below, check it out afterwards. But real quickly again, wide stance. He has a wide stance with his legs. You can see that even once he brings his arms down and he does this thing, it's he's always wide. He, he always wants to bring his shoulders out. Usually men do this more often than women. However, I do think that women tend to shrink themselves because society tells them to shrink and then therefore people think of them as weaker because they are not expanded, but they are close together and there's a time and place for everything, yes. That being said, the more expanded you are, the more it shows that you are confident, especially people who are raised in cities. I noticed that both women and men who are raised in cities tend to be more expanded, which makes no sense because cities are more crowded and therefore you think you should be reserving your space. However, the reason why a lot of city people are more expanded is because it's a way of showing your confidence. It's the way of showing that I don't want you to mess with me. And especially if you raise an environment that uh, isn't the most safe environment, you are taught, whether directly or indirectly, to expand your body language. Why is that? Because when somebody's trying to attack somebody, and I know this is, we're going into more of an evolutionary reasoning, is when somebody's trying to attack somebody, they're going to attack somebody who seems the most vulnerable. It makes sense, right? You're not gonna try to attack somebody who seems the most pumped and strong and courageous no you want easy prey you want to go for somebody who seems more weak and less likely to fight back so you go for somebody who has a body language that's a lot more reserved that's a lot more closed off that's a lot more unsure of themselves so sometimes you might be a little bit more relaxed you're in a relaxing environment but when something seems threatening we usually instantly, either we shrink, we're the type of person who shrinks down and goes, okay, I don't wanna deal with this, or you pump yourself up because you're showing that, look, I'm willing to fight in this scenario, so you better be willing to fight as well. And then sometimes people back off just because they see your body language. And that's what it is. It's about respect. It's funny, I was thinking the other day that I used to go to a lot of these high-end social events and high-end mansion parties and all of that. <laughs> Gary Vee definitely has that really good body, strong body language, powerful body language. He always widens out, he's always expanded. He always even elongates his neck. Um, even when he's looking down, there's a difference between the way Gary Vee looks down, which is here, and then some people do this. And you would think that's such a subtle difference, Who who cares? but you carry yourself differently. You walk that way. You walk like a person like this or a person like this, even if you're both looking down. It's, it's the difference between no neck and a neck because you're holding yourself up. And the more you hold yourself up in your body, the more you go out there in the world and you hold yourself up and people look up to you because it seems like you're the type of person who can hold them up even. And that's how you show that, hey, look, come this way, come with me, without actually saying that because it's in your body language. You're showing without telling. All right, so if any of this resonates with you or if you'd like to learn more about it, check out my body language playlist and also check out my leadership playlist or check out my Speak Like series where I do these types of videos and a breakdown analysis with other people as well please do hit that subscribe button if this is something you're interested in. Again, I'm Lady Tina and comment below if this was helpful at all and I will see you on the next 
video. Remember, raise your vibe.